If you think that you can transform what we have already now into some kind of utopia, then you're dangerous because that isn't how the world works. And utopians have been more dangerous than any other people for the last hundred years. That's for sure. Like, there's all sorts of things wrong with Western society. Always, and there always will be. But compared to 85 to 90 percent of the rest of the planet, this is bloody heaven. And that's why people want to move here. So, you can say, well, it's corrupt compared to my imaginary utopia. It's like, yeah, that's for sure. It certainly is. But if your imaginary utopia was realized in, in hardcore politics over a 30-year period, everyone would be out in the streets starving to death. And we already know that because it happened multiple times throughout the 20th century in societies that were, well, they weren't as sophisticated as our society is now, but they were plenty sophisticated for their time. And you'll hear the neo-Marxist types, this is the most annoying argument ever, anyone ever makes. They say, well, what happened in the Soviet Union? That wasn't real communism. It's like, first, oh yes it was. That's why it also happened in China, which was a very different society. But what they really mean when they say that is, well, you know, that Stalin character, he wasn't such a good guy. He didn't really know how to implement the, the Marxist doctrines. But me, I'm pretty pure of heart. And if you would have made me dictator for 20 years, then the utopia would have arrived as promised. It's like, first of all, if you think that, there's something wrong with you. You're <laughs> dangerous. And second, let's just say for a minute that some saint did get a hold of the tools of power and try to implement from each according to his ability to each according to his need, and actually did that in a pure and saint-like manner. Here's what would happen. The next people in the revolutionary string, like Stalin, would come along and stab them in their bed in the middle of the night, and that would be the end of that. So, well, so there's absolutely no excuse whatsoever for that sort of thinking. And if you read Solzhenitsyn's Gulag Archipelago, which you should do, like everyone should, because it's like the definitive document of this sort of thing emer that emerged from the 20th century, Solzhenitsyn laid out with extraordinary clarity, first in his writings on Lenin and then in his writings on the Soviet Union more broadly, exactly how the pernicious and pathological Marxist doctrines were transformed logically and systematically into the sorts of laws that killed millions of people. Millions of people. There were people starving so badly in the Soviet Union by the 1920s that they had posters telling them not to eat their children. So we've been down that road already. So what the hell are we doing? We're going down that road again under the guise of equity. Right? And, 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 and equality. Well, that was the doctrines that promoted those laws to begin with. Not good.